This is seven national news and in our top story. The Ministry of Health has announced the executive regulations of the anti-tobacco law, which were approved back in July this year by the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. According to news agency WAM, the resolution will come into effect six months from the date of issuance, which bans smoking in private vehicles if a child younger than 12 years old is present in the car. The law also bans any content that advertises tobacco products, as well as bans importing tobacco products that are not in line with technical standards set by the UAE. Any violations regarding such imports can lead to a one-year prison sentence and a fine ranging from 100,000 dirhams to a million dirhams, in addition to the confiscation of products. Additionally, all products must now display a large warning label on the front in order to raise awareness on the dangers of tobacco. And products cannot be displayed near items marketed for children, sportswear, health, food and electronics. Tobacco products are also forbidden to be sold in locations that are 100 metres away from places of worship and 15 metres away from kindergartens, schools, universities and colleges. Shisha cafes will also have to be at least 150 metres away from residential areas. The regulations also specify that shishas are not to be served to customers younger than 18 years of age. The University of Sharjah's Board of Trustees has approved a 605 million dirham budget for the academic year 2013-2014. The board is under the chairmanship of His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Kazmi, the Supreme Council member and ruler of Sharjah and president of the university. According to news agency WAM, at the beginning of the 35th board meeting, His Highness Sheikh Sultan expressed his approval with the development of the university and its progress among other universities, especially in the framework of its strategic plan for 2014. And additionally, 7.3 million dirhams worth of road projects have been completed over in Sharjah on the instructions of His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Kazmi, the Supreme Council member and ruler of Sharjah. Some of the projects include new subroads in Al Kawalid and Al Mashi suburbs in the Al Madam area. The projects also involved a number of car park entrances and exits for government buildings. Hostel beds and waiting areas in healthcare facilities under the Dubai Health Authority will soon be equipped with Android tablets. The DHA and FamTech of Fam Holding announced an important step towards smart hospitals in Dubai today. According to His Excellency Engineer Essa Al Maidor, the Director General of the DHA, 3,000 Android tablets will be distributed and fitted on hospital beds and waiting areas, as well as primary health care and speciality health centres. This is a part of their IT roadmap in keeping with the Emirates Smart Government Initiative. The Android tablets will serve several purposes that aim to enhance the patient's user experience and contribute to their recovery, as well as overall well-being. Through this, they can, you know, have some sort of, it's like everyone have his own individual personal uh, TV station. He can watch news, he can watch uh, cartoons for kids, for, uh, you know, any other, you know, these sort of uh, uh, usage. In the meantime, he can have access to all the uh, Dubai government services, uh, so he can do his normal routine work, as he, even if he's in, in, in the hospital. Also, we can carry a lot of surveys through these uh, devices. We can uh, do a lot of health promotion through, through these devices. Uh, and it will enhance our relation with our customers who's coming to uh, DHA ho hospitals and centers. Uh, and it is two way, uh, I mean, two direction uh, communication means. Primary, we are going to provide 3,000 tablets and uh, Dubai Health uh, Authority hospitals and clinics. This is for the beds and for the waiting areas. But uh, this project will stay between two years to three years. And there is a lot of development and a lot of phases will be uh, there, either on the hardware or on the application sites. 
Dubai municipality's Your Weight in Gold initiative has inspired more than 10,000 residents to lose the extra kilos until the end of August. 18-year-old Musa Ramadan Mishmish is just one of them. He says he decided to lose 25 kilos in June, a month before the campaign was launched, but was further inspired by the initiative. He has lost 15 kilos so far and is among the hundreds running around Safa Park in an effort to continue to lose weight and stay healthy. Meanwhile, 20-year-old Ahmed Tariq Selim, the director of the Tekka Group, is among the inspirational figures who also showed his support and encouraged others to pursue change from obesity to being fit and healthy. He says he used to weigh 150 kilos and was often depressed until he decided to lose the extra baggage. After I lost weight, I decided to, to make a group which is called Tikha Group. And this group is trying to motivate everyone to change their bad habits in life into good habits. And as, as I just told you, like I got invited from the United States of America to go and give their nine seminars in different states. I'm going to Ohio State University. I'm going to West Virginia, you know, West, West Virginia State University. A lot of schools, a lot of public places. So that like I, I'm trying to share my, my story and my experience with everyone around the world. And like I always say that nothing in love is impossible. If someone who can, who is 19 and I'm, I'm 20, who lost 65 kilograms, then anyone can do anything. Anyone can do it. So when they started the program, I was thinking about the goal. But then when it's coming running, I think it's my, it's my life. So I said to have fun and do it and I will feel healthy if I do it every day. So when they finish, I will, I will not stop, never. I will try to do it. To help participants maintain their momentum, the civic body has organised open days from 5pm to 9pm. This will continue on August the 21st at Zabal Park, Gate 3, and then on August the 23rd at the Mamzar Beach Track, where the public will have the opportunity to avail of different kinds of medical checkups and also participate in various sports. Experts say there are many ways to achieve fitness goals, but one has to decide and do it. The most effective way to losing weight is that make a diet, make exercise uh, daily, and drink a lot of water, you can lose weight quickly. The diet is actually uh, a diet which, which was developed uh, in the 1960s, which is used worldwide and uh, is nutritionally complete. It comes in the form of supplements, milkshakes, soups, porridge, chocolate bars, um, which are very easy to carry around with you. And, uh, and, and actually the, the diet is, is also unique in that if you follow it properly, you don't feel hungry. Saudi nationals have emerged as the top tourism spenders in Dubai for the first half of the year, spending 17 billion dirhams in the period. According to official statistics from the Dubai Tourism and Marketing Department, around 710,000 Saudis visited the Emirate in H1, a rise of nearly 31.6% over H1 last year. It added that the figures showed that on average, each Saudi tourist spent 24,000 dirhams. The report also revealed that Indians were the second largest number of tourists to come to Dubai. In total, Dubai welcomed more than 5.58 million visitors during the first half of the year, representing an 11.1% year-on-year increase. And finally, looking to other news now, Hajnet, a Dubai-based startup, has just released a smartphone Umrah guide that will support millions of pilgrims in every step of their pilgrimage with full social media integration. Umrah Salem is a mobile app that offers today's pilgrim the real-time location and process-based support they need to focus on the spiritual aspects of fulfilling their religious obligations. Features include prompting pilgrims to read or hear the appropriate duas or prayers at the right time and place, counting the number of tawaf as they are being performed, and full camera map and social media integration. Umrah Salem enables travellers to find their hotel from a comprehensive and frequently updated database and pin it to a map so they can locate their hotel or any other landmark to avoid getting lost. 
Additionally, a packing list helps them prepare for the journey with essential items, while a digital journal helps them record and share their location and personal moments with their loved ones.